How's it going, everyone? Caleb here with Layton Gaming. Next up tonight, Jeff S. Going with Asher Radiance, Chilling Rain, and Evolving Skies Boosters. And then an Arceus Figure Box as well. Looks perfect, man. Looks perfect. Thank you so much once again, Jeff. Let's get it going. Looks good, man. We'll start out with the Figure Box. Get this one out of the way. Couple of nice packs in here. Two brilliant stars, one shilling rain, and then a cosmic eclipse. You do also get the awesome Arceus V promo card that is exclusive to the box. And you do get the figure. This is a great box. If you guys have not checked this one out yet, I would highly encourage you to do so. Here we go. Grab the contents out. We've got a, a couple of brilliant stars. We've got a cosmic eclipse and a chilling rain. Here is that sick Arceus figure. Get that out to you, Jeff. And he will wait in the background here during the break. Let me grab that V card out as well here. Really nice, man. Exclusive to the box here on the promo, like I said. This is the only spot you can find it. Very nice. Very nice, very nice. Alrighty, alrighty, let's do it. Brilliant, brilliant, chilling. Start with chilling. <laughs> technically, yeah, technically. <laughs> What's up, Rob? Volt Corona, a uh, couple of brilliant stars, and then Cosmic. Starmy Reverse, Muck. We're going to have to try a different order on the booster boxes. We're going to start with Astral Radiance this time. See if that can bring us some different and hopefully better luck. Hello, Professor's Research. Nice. And here comes Cosmic Eclipse. Woobat Reverse and Dragelge on the rare. All right, let's do it. Astral Radiance first this time. And then we got shilling and we got evolving. Let's see what? Good luck, man. One sec here. Here we go. Here we go. 36 Astral Radiance. Get to a jet. Starting out with a hit there. Cleaver V. Flamio and Regirock. Trainer Gallery that time. Flapple. Nice. His Sue and Bravery. Machamp VMAX. Come on, man. I know you want that Machamp ball, Jeff. Come on. See your friend, Mr. Machamp. I'm trying to see that alternate art. We've got a uh, Radiant Greninja. A nice one there. It's like, where's that reverse? Cleaver Hollow. Good stuff on the Greninja. Leafy on reverse, his Sue and Basque lesion. Uh, keep in mind, guys, there is no stream tomorrow. We do have the family fun night, uh, so no stream tomorrow. We will canceling Cologne and Registeel. Uh, we will be back for you guys on Sunday, though. We will be back on Sunday. Got the group breaks already listed for you on Sunday. Glaceon. Uh, before even knowing what it is, Rob, probably, yes. <laughs> Star me, V. <laughs> yeah, it's like instantly putting away the dishes, Rob. And then I'm just sitting there like in the PlayStation party and all my friends are just like listening to just like, uh, 
Just like bowls and stuff just being, you know, launched around the kitchen. Pots, pans being put away. The dishes being washed. Absol hollow. With that being said, it's like, um, of course, I'm about to be very thankful, though, that while I'm sitting there playing a video game, uh, my girlfriend is kind enough to do something like that. So, can't complain, but yes, I know what you're saying. That's a full art trainer, Grant. There you go, Jeff. Nice one, man. Nice Grant. Full art. Congrats on that, Jeff. <laughs> Funny stuff, Rob. Magnemite, Leafeon. So, yeah, I was right in my premature, yes. Isu and Quillfish and Rapidash. Shatot, Mez Spirit Hollow. I'm going to do Chilling Rain after the Astral Radiance. Trainer Gallery hit that time. It's failing. It's got a Leafy on there. Uh, I got Dan coming up after this one. And then Matthew D. Current Hugh, guys. It's going to be about 45 minutes. EV Rapidash. Uh, we do have another collector box coming up next. Of a uh, Boldar's Gate collector, that is. So good luck to Dan. And nice one there, Jeff. Galarian Moltres V from the Trainer Gallery. Solid. Hollow Keldeo. Nice one there. Oh no, Rob. Uh, Rainbow Adaman. Rainbow Trainer there. Nice. Yikyo. Turning into a solid box, Jeff. We got packs to go, man. We do got packs to go. Knocked Owl and Reg Ice. Hoot hoot. Nice card, man. Origin form Palkia V-Star. There you go, Jeff. Very good seller here. Congrats, man. Awesome card. Super expensive because of the playability. Good stuff. Great V-Star hits. You're like, isn't that just a normal V-Star? Uh, yes, it is. Frostmoth. Avalug, I believe that card is still selling for over $25. So that beats some alternate arts in certain sets. Um, it is a pretty big hit. Teddy Ursa, Wire Deer Hollow. Even the V Palkia uh, is selling for over $5 still, I believe. Just the V. Spicy Season Curry and Overquill. And that's like very consistently. When I say selling, um, I'm saying like, you know... Tens and dozens of copies each day. Lots of them. Lots of them selling. Lucario V there, fighting. Uh, the reason behind that, like I said, is the playability. Water deck has gotten a super upgrade over the last few sets. That card is really good as well. Radiant Hall Lucha that time. Nano Swine. With that being said, though, we do still need an ult. Come on, man. Sneasler and Cleaver. Chilling and evolving skies as well, Jeff. Radiant Greninja. That's the third Radiant card of this box. Registeel. Solid Trainer Gallery card. Zamazenta V. Tougher hit there. Not one you see too often. Yo, Jeff, nice Zamazenta V from the Trainer Gallery. Hollow, or, or excuse me, non hollow rare Ursaluna. Shred Floon and Vesba Queen. Right now, ripping for Jeff. Then I got Matthew D, and then I got Dan. Had a little in Diancy Hollow. Coming up, guys. That is what is coming up. Ooh, gold path to the peak. Gorgeous card, Jeff. Wow. That card really pops. There you go, man. Beauty there, Jeff. Beauty. Path to the peak. Gold stadium there. 
Solid card again. Yeah, the gold stadiums over the last, like, three sets have all looked fantastic, in my opinion. There we go! Alternate Art Dialga! Boom! Yes, man! There is that boom we needed for Jeff! Very nice, man! Great card, Jeff! Great run of packs! There you go! This is a really good box! Really nice one there! We just had the Gold Stadium! We had a Palkia V-Star! That is the box you want to see, man. Congrats, Jeff. Great box. Like I said, switching up the order a little bit seems to be doing the trick. Nice, man. Heck yeah, we'll get that magged. Let's go. No problem, man. I'm glad this break is already starting out a bit better. I'm glad to see it. Evil. Two packs to go of Astral Radiance. Um, I really want to go out of order now. I'm still going to do Chilling Rain next. Heat Ram V. Gotta save Evolving for last, right? Have to. Have to. How can you not? Hippo and Adamant Hollow. Appreciate it, Jeff. All right, let me move some bulk here quick. Thank you, Matthew D, for grabbing a Picanto box in a little bit. Good choice, man. Some evolutions coming up. All right, here we go. Let's do Chilling Rain. Evolving to close then, Jeff. Good luck, man. Great first box of the break. Delayed. How's your uh, story sale going, Lane? Freeing up some capital before tomorrow, Lane. <laughs> yeah, Jeff, we gotta find we gotta find one, man. We've got to. Solid start here to the box. Full art. Karen's conviction. There you go. One of the better trainers in the set. Nice one, Jeff. Karen's conviction, full art. Beauty, man. Great start. Great start. Love to see it. We got crushing gloves, Volcarona. Nice lane, not bad at all. Serena Reverse and Galarian Weezing. What's your biggest ever story sale lane? Like, what's the most you ever reeled in from one story sale? Granted, it was probably just because of like one card, but still. Ever have, like, any really crazy ones? Maybe we sold, like, two huge cards or something? Celebi VMAX there. There you go, Jeff. <clears throat> Venipede, we got Toro Solo. Maybe, like, two years ago. Multiple five-figure story sales. That's awesome. Nice, man. Go Lurk there. That is awesome. <laughs> Lane, I remember what that uh, what that guy said to you at the card show that one time. That was pretty funny. Ooh, we have a rainbow here. Good luck, man. There's some cool rainbows in the sets. There are some cool rainbows. What do you think about the Titan Shield sleeves that are more to fit the gaming cards and matte clear on the back? Uh, familiar with those, Rob. I don't think there's any problem with them. It's just because we top load most of our cards that we do use the standard sports sleeves. Uh, but I do think those are solid. Come on, Jeff. Come on. Nice, man. It's going to be a rainbow ice rider. Calyrex VMAX. Beautiful rainbow there. Nice one, man. Good stuff, Jeff. Congrats on the rainbow. Very cool hit, man. Nice ice rider. Yeah, I don't think there's anything wrong with them, Rob. I know a lot of people that use them. We got a Blaziken V. That's fire. I think they fit the one touches better in your opinion. Yeah, recently with the new one touches that have uh, come out, the new style of Pro Mold, uh, they include their own sleeve for them so that it's well fit. Fog Crystal and Surfetched. And that was kind of to uh, fix the issue of the previous Pro Mold mags. 
Chrysalia and Scolipede. We got a Runerigus Weevil Hollow. Score Bunny and Agron. We got Zev Striker. Avery and Serena. We got Whirlipede and Inteleon Hollow. Uh, yeah, Rob. That's correct. If there was ever any cards sent to you in those mags, that would have just been a mistake that happened during like a two or three day span when we were training a couple of new people, Rob. So uh, our apologies. There's no, That's not supposed to be magged like that. Although it is my understanding that that might have happened at like a two to three day period a while back. But yeah, none are supposed to be like that. Oh, you got... Oh, okay, I got you, Rob. Zero or a V. There was like a, there's like one customer that had an issue with a couple of cards like not magged properly. So gotcha, gotcha, Rob. Keonia and a Galarian Weezing on the rare. It's quite a while back though at this point. Weezing. Quite a while back. Of course, all good since. Your mask and Cinderace Hollow. Chef, grab out the rest from the chilling box here. We do have a full evolving skies booster still. Good luck, Jeff. Lannery, we got Galarian Sloking V. Nice one there. Come on, Lane. <laughs> Come on, it was not me. <laughs> Brutal, man. Uh, any card I've ever magged, you guys have seen exactly what it looks like as I take a picture and show you guys again. Although I don't mag, uh, although I don't mag cards every night. Uh, there is not any more evolving and not any more bundles, Dan. Unfortunately, all sold out of evolving for the night and bundles. Asmussen. I've got the evolving skies group break on Sunday. And then that's the last of the evolving that we've got on hand at the moment. Uh, Deerling Reverse and Sea Viper. Sorry, Dan. Bundles and evolving are no more tonight. Hoping to get more of each, of course. Bliss EV there. Or the man Jeff. I said, if you guys want to get in on some evolving, there is a group break on Sunday. The two booster box break. Doug Trio. <clears throat> we got Shaman and Agron. Sea Viper, Thunderous Hollow. Had like a little, small, little uh, Evolving Skies. Uh, not necessarily like restock, because we're purchasing this off the secondary market, but you get what we're saying. Yeah, it did lane, yep. Coughing, we got Spiritomb. Evolving is like that, though. Evolving is like that. Melanie and Cacleon, it's just one of those sets. One of those sets. Top tier set. People are always looking for it. Weeding Gloves and Serena. I know Brad sold a bunch of Evolving Skies one night. He was live. I ripped a decent amount of this restock as well. Did a couple of group breaks with it. It's like the perfect amount. I heard there's a rumor of a small like restock from uh, Pokemon themselves for Evolving Skies soon. That'd be pretty cool. Shadow Rider, Calyrex. Nice one there. Although I would have to imagine that any restock would probably be pretty small of Evolving Skies. I would have to imagine. Still never ripped any of it. I have some sealed and I've ripped um, ripped two boxes. I got the Dragonite alt and the Leafeon alt in two boxes. One in each. Buxton just hit another home run. Nice, Rob. He's crushing it this year. Uh, Sobble Reverse and Hatterene Hollow. One of the most ripped boxes on the entire channel. Evolving Skies. Done so much of it. Greedent and Zangoose. Here we go. Next one up. Evolving Skies. 
Yeah, our last two booster box break, we literally hit the Umbreon VMAX alt. So that was big. That was some time ago, though, now. On to a new, different case. <laughs> but yeah. Those breaks can be very legit. It's only a seven-spot break as well, so you have a decent chance to land one of the top energies. And if you do not, there's a five-way combo. Um, so you're going to at least get some hits, if that makes sense. Altaria. <clears throat> Lilio Reverse. Espeon V. Nice one. Yeah, we had so much, and then it kind of just went. And I guess I... Expected that, I guess, just because I, like, I mean, you guys have heard me talk about this on the channel many times, but just the strength of this set is it's very, very strong. Very, very strong. It's always had uh, pretty much over, like, 10 cards that have always held at over $50 um, raw value, which is very impressive. Smeargle, if not a little over 10. But at least 10, I should say. Favorite for you as well, Ryan. Nice card there! Rainbow Rayquaza VMAX! Boom! Another great Rainbow Rare tonight. Congrats, Jeff! Very nice! Awesome card, man. Awesome card. Really tough hit as well. On the rainbow rares in this set. Like I said, we get so caught up in the alternate arts. We do forget that there is a rainbow Rayquaza, Leafeon, Umbreon. A lot of nice stuff in terms of the rainbows. Nice one there, Jeff. Congrats. Great Rayquaza. Lots of nice ones. Beautiful rainbow. And next pack. Full art, Leafeon. Great run of packs, man. There you go, Jeff. Congrats. Set continues to crush it. Kyrum and Lilligant. Laffy Giggle. Guys, remember, if you're enjoying the stream tonight, be sure you've already left a like. Uh, also, make sure you're subscribed, of course, on the YouTube side. Appreciate you for all doing that. We're getting closer and closer to a 1,000 subscribers, guys. We'll be doing a little giveaway when that does happen, so be sure you're sub to uh, help show that support. Shift tree there. Help push towards a 1,000 on the YouTube side. We got Garbodor V. Trash man there for you, Jeff. Nice. Trash man. Yeah, chances are Lane does get into that break. <laughs> Zygarde Hollow. Chances are, Ryan. He'll ask me a short bit of time from now what he should rip, and then I'll just tell him the break spot. <laughs> Here we go, Jeff. Keep going. I got Dan after this, and then Matthew D. Uh, Skip Loom, Sharpedo. I think I have to go get something for Dan's, although I might have everything in here. If I have everything in here, I'll get right to it, Dan. I might have to run to the back really quick. Ampharos. Half hour wait time, guys. Half hour right now. Dialga Hollow. Appreciate the rips here all night. Non-stop ripping for you guys for the last six hours. If you do want something, there is still space. It's about a half hour wait. Tentacool and Talonflame. Uh, lots of stuff in stock for you guys. Linked below. Uh, only thing that is sold out is the Evolving Skies boosters and the uh, Baldur's Gate uh, bundles right now. That's it. Everything else is still available. Lots of good stuff there, guys. Check it out. Linked in the chat. Yeah, Lane has locked, watched tons of it, right? Glaceon V. wonder how many Evolving Skies boosters I've ripped. It's probably nearing 500, but it's not quite there, I wouldn't think. It might be there. Stoutland. It might be there, actually. Forget that I did do the release day of this product as well. Might be there. Leafeon VMAX. Very nice. At least three. Yeah, that's true. At least three. Nice Leafeon VMAX. Seismitoad. Might be over 500. I'm not sure. 
Really not sure. Wish I knew. Raichu and Tropius. It's a lot of packs. <laughs> Just for one set. Ah, Pip, Salamance Hollow. Crazy to say as well, with that many booster boxes, we've seen the... Or at least I have hit the Rayquaza VMAX alt like three times, and the Umbreon like probably like four times. So super, super rare. Maybe five times on the Umbreon. Just super rare cards. Literally take upwards of 100 boxes. Pikachu and Wishy Washy, or of course you can get lucky and see one in like back to back boxes. It's the way that odds work with something like this. But by no means easy hits. Uh, gorgeous, rather tough hits. Round two here is certainly much better, Jeff. Drake is all VMAX. Certainly much better than round one. Appreciate you giving it another stab here. Ball Arts Gate Collector next for Dan. That'll be fun. Apple Pie, second one we get to check out of those tonight. Appreciate it, appreciate it, Dan. Yeah, much better indeed, Jeff. I uh, Rayquaza be there. Not bad. About eight left here. Dan and then Matthew D. Dino and Regaliki Hollow. Half hour wait time, guys. And of course, appreciate the support on the release day. Got a Lilligant and a Pinsir. Uh, we'll probably stop the fun at midnight tonight. It's a pretty hard stop, guys. I have been... Uh, I'll be working for like 13 hours at that point. Started the day at about 11 today, so. Probably call it at midnight at the very latest if the orders are still going until then. Shellgun and Trampa. <clears throat> Switching cups and we got a Leafy on B. Nice, nice, nice. Here to go, Jeff. So there's still some space left if you want it. Got Naked and my Lotic. And last pack here. Come on, Alt. Can we top that Rainbow Rare? Rayquaza. Uh, Raichu Hollow. We cannot, but still a nice card earlier, man. And a nice break there overall. Uh, congrats again on the Astro Radiance Booster Rocks. That was really nice. Uh, we did have a couple of cool rainbows after that as well in Chilling Rain and Evolving Skies, respectively. So we'll take those as well, man. Thanks again, Jeff. Appreciate it, man. Uh, yeah, certainly a better round two there.